My name is Anitra Kanchala, six years old, from Warrington. Today I'm in Sankey Canal, featuring about not a plant, neither an animal, somewhere in between, and we are related to it. I'm going to give you a clue. Turkey tails, which are right here, are part of it. It's family. Along with these over here, have you guessed it? Fungi. Fungi is all around us. Fungi brought intelligence to us humans because our ancestors were searching for animals to eat and then they found these mushrooms were growing in dung and then they picked it and then ate it and then their neurons grown and then they learned language, sign language and even now I couldn't have talked if the ancestors haven't ate these special magic mushrooms. Yeah, that's why magic mushrooms are a great source of smartness. And mushrooms regenerate. They, so, if any log or even a person like dies somewhere here, it would like these mush, any type of mushroom would just get all the nutrients from that and then get it into the soil and then it'll make a protein for soil. That's how these mushrooms are just like garbage trucks, if you didn't know. So look at all these leaves underground. Who or what will recycle them? It will of course be the garbage truck of the environment, the fungi. Fungi decompose all of the leaves and rotting things underground. And rot is when the mushrooms eat. Mushrooms don't have seeds or they don't give birth to life youngs. They instead get spores. If I breathe in, I, I breathe in 10 fungal spores. Amazing! It's just amazing that mushrooms are just so interesting. Mushrooms are amazing. So is a mushroom a plant or an animal? How many say it's an animal? Okay, all of you. And how many say it's a plant? Okay, all of you. Mushrooms aren't in the plants or animals family. They're astonishingly in a different group because a plant has leaves what can soak in the sunlight, hence it can make its own food, but a mushroom does not have any chlorophyll, that means it cannot soak up sunlight and it cannot make its own food. Hence, mushrooms are not a plant. So a mushroom is neither an animal because it cannot move, but these are the same things about mushroom with plants and animals. Mushroom cannot move just like the plants, but mushrooms are carnivores and omnivores. That means they're a bit like 
animals, but they have a couple of differences as well. So they cannot be a plant, neither an animal. So this is the answer what group a plant a mushroom is in. A mushroom is in a special family called fungi. Mushrooms are everywhere, in everything, and even inside us. Did you know there's, there's lots of mushrooms in multicolours, orange, red, pink, black, blue, lots of colours, and they may even be right under our feet, because they're roots. They grow and they can spread for miles. They can spread long, long, long distances. Offsprings, like little seeds, are offsprings to giant trees. When a tree drops seed, the offspring cuddles into the ground and when fungi goes in between, like a mushroom, it'll get big roots connecting to the big mummy and the baby tree. And when the mum tree senses she's in danger, she'll actually save her offspring by making sure the offspring regenerates further away from her. Because she is in big trouble, so if a mum's in trouble, she'll sacrifice her life just for her offspring, and she'll have the offspring will have no more communications from her mum. But it's lucky that if that mum has a couple of mushrooms around it, that would be lucky. It's raining leaves! And do you know what happens to these leaves when they fall to the ground? They'll decompose. And well, mushrooms don't only decompose, they also are friends with the leaves. They don't always eat them, they even help. Because when there's a flood, even if the trees will fall, the mushrooms would supply all the, the tree needs to regrow. And in a drought, the mushroom would supply enough water for the tree. That's quite smart. It's like symbiosis. Symbiosis is when two living organs help each other. Like the mushroom gives all the tree needs to grow big and tall. And the tree gives a perfect habitat for the mushroom. And well, few creatures will attack trees, while well, most can damage trees. But few types of fungi are poisonous and they may defend a tree. So guys, I'm going to tell you something very interesting. Mycelium, a fungi's root, is astonishingly nearly invisible. It might be there, it may be there, it could be everywhere. It can be everywhere on the ground. It'll be hard, it'll be nearly impossible to see with the naked eye. feeling the pulse of eternal knowledge. When you sense the oneness, they are with us. They brought life to earth. Can't see them, but they flourish all around us, everywhere, in everything. And even inside us, 
whether we believe in them or not, from our first breath to last. In the darkness and in the light, they are oldest and youngest. Their resurrection, condemnation and regeneration, they are mushrooms.